How with Kia. Today we are talking about Amarosa. So I'm not sure if anybody's seen this yet. I literally just saw it while I was sitting in traffic trying to look what I want to talk about today. And apparently um, Amarosa is in the Big Brother house. So let's start from the beginning. Uh, Amarosa is in the news right now. For those of you who don't know, Amarosa is now in Celebrity Big Brother. Uh, you know, she's gonna be in the house with several celebrities, including Brandi Glanville from The Real House of Bella Beverly Hills, um, Keisha Knight Pulliam, um, and Ross Matthews from E, who's also been on a couple of other things. So she's um, on the show. Her roommate is Ross Matthews. So it's come out now that Amarosa, under 24 seven surveillance at the Big Brother house, it has come out that Amarosa has said that she was always basically worried about the Trump White House. And she's heard a lot of stuff that, that was worried her. And when Ross asked her, I mean, is it really that bad? And she's like, no, it's really that bad. It is. I mean, things are not okay. It's not okay. It's not going to be okay. You know, it's bad. And it's now this bombshell thing. And she also came out to say that when Ross asked her, why did you join the Trump White House? And she said, because I felt like it was a call to my country not to serve Trump. So let's start there. That's a bunch of bullshit. Because she went on The View and said that she supported Donald Trump. She never said, I want to support the American people. I want to do for the American people. It was always, I want to be a part of this administration. I want to work for Trump. Trump asked me. Uh, Trump's done a lot for me. Trump's helped. And then that we would all bow down. Those were her exact words. We would all bow down to Donald Trump. So it was never really about us, her serving the American people. It was all about her serving the Donald Trump administration. So that's number one. So, uh, Raj Shah, who is the deputy press secretary, actually had to, um, you know, get on stage today and do what Sarah Sanders, Sarah Huckabee Sanders does. And he asked about it. And instead of just saying, you know, I'm not sure what Omarosa is doing right now, the White House wishes her the best. She's not, she's no longer a member of this administration. It just didn't work out. Instead he says, well, she was fired three times on The um, Apprentice and she was fired a fourth time. She had very little contact with the president. She had, you know, no access to anything to the president and she has absolutely no contact now. Again, that's a bunch of bullshit. We watched her sitting at multiple tables with Donald Trump, speaking to Donald Trump, specifically last, um, was it last February during Black History Month when he had the whole Frederick Douglass situation where he thought Frederick Douglass was still alive? That happened last year when she was at that table. She even spoke at that event. They were sending her out as a surrogate. So it's not possible that she had very little access or very little contact because if she had very little contact and very little access, then why did they have to revoke her clearance? Little, uh, little boy who was fired today, Rob, whatever his name is, Rob Porter, he didn't have any access. So he, and he had no clearance from the FBI. So that makes sense. Like he never had access. He was just the bag man for the president. Like he has no access. Okay, get it. But that was not the case to Omarosa. She had a full clearance from the FBI. She had access. Let, let's, let's just call it what it is. Let's stop dancing around the fact that Omarosa is, is, was a part of this White House. Let's say what it is. The White House is pissed off that this woman instead of just going quietly into the night, has decided that she's going to talk badly about the White House. And really what this is on Omarosa's side is she's trying to get the African American community, well, 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 hell, everybody back on her side because nobody believes her, her crap. No one believes your crap, Omarosa. You went on several outlets saying that no one likes Donald Trump and Donald Trump is gonna do this and that and the African American people have been in a bad situation. Obama hasn't helped us. And now you're coming out to say that you were really worried so which is it? Wh wh which is it? I don't. I, I. I need to understand from you, Omarosa. Which is it? It was Donald Trump trying to help us as African Americans and helping the American people and do all these things, or was it really a crap show and you were just covering your ass? No one believes you. You have jumped from one thing to another in a matter of six months, and no one knows what you're talking about. And then you have the nerve to get on Celebrity Big Brother. Instead of at least doing the respectful thing of writing a book and telling your story that way, you go on Celebrity Big Brother. Does that mean that nobody wanted your book and you couldn't sell it to a publisher? Or do you sell it to a publisher and they didn't want to give you an advance because they didn't know what um, the White House was going to do if they are going to put a gag order on you? So you're just trying to find out, find whatever money you can get. Or do you really want to be on Celebrity Big Brother because you can't get out of the spotlight? You were on reality TV beforehand. 
You did a couple shows, had your own show. What was it? Amorosa's table or bargaining table. Amorosa needs a man, something. You did that. You did The Apprentice. Now you basically move into a celebrity show, White House. Are you just begging for the spotlight? Because we're all, we, I don't know what you want people to do with you. You can't come back to the black community because child, we don't want you. Like Angela Rice said, said, we don't know you. You skin folk, we don't claim you. We don't want you over here. As Whoopi said, go find your people because they're looking for you because it's not us. It's not the African-American community. You have been nasty to people. It has gotten to the point in the White House, and I know people who are um, tr were trying to get in there and lobby to the White House, and Amarosa, you would not even help them. Even Republican African-Americans who were trying to get into the White House and were trying to use you as an end, you wouldn't even help them. You would make sure they didn't have access to the president. Which again circles back to them saying she had no access to the president even though she was the gatekeeper for a lot of African Americans who were trying to get in there. So I don't, I don't understand what Amorosa is doing these days. And I don't get why the press secretary even gave this whole silly thing the time of a day. Child, that, that woman is gone. She has nothing to stand on. She has no leg to stand on. No one is trying to deal with her. No one is trying to hear from her. So, you know, once again, I'm asking the same question. Amorosa, what's the end game? Do you want us to watch Celebrity Big Brother? Is that why these tidbits are being thrown out? Or, uh, you know, and again, it's probably from Celebrity Big Brother. CBS is probably throwing these tidbits to get people to watch. I'm not watching. I'm not watching. I'm not wasting my time on this woman who I can't trust and believe anything she says. You were in the White House on CNN, on MSNBC saying the president had great ideas. He's supporting African men. He's doing blah, blah, blah. Now you're saying it's really, really bad. So which one is it? Let me know. Let the rest of us know. So... That's my opinion on Amarosa, and I'm sorry I was all fiery, but the, her situation really, really makes me upset, especially seeing how I'm an African-American female Republican and the crap we have to go through. Amarosa did nothing to help us. She actually hurt us in a huge, huge way. So leave your comments down below. Um, subscribe to my channel. You can follow me on Instagram at I am Kia Giovanni. You can just type in Kia Shakur. You can follow me on Twitter at Kia Shakur in all capital letters. So I hope to hear from you and hope to see your comments. Later.